So we just went to a tournament and we did pretty well. Um, I managed to get the Grand Championship, I wasn't even planning on that. Uh, and my son Randy Perez uh, managed to get first place in uh, Kempo Forms. And, but what's even more impressive to me is the fact that Randy was able to fight the Grand Championship, the defending Grand Champion from last year, who again won the Grand Championship this year. Randy fought him and Randy beat him 5-0. Nice kick. Nice. 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 What I wanted to accomplish with my competition, all I did this time around was self defense techniques. Um, and I'm I had a pretty good feeling on my place first in self-defense techniques. I did not think that I was also able to uh, take home a grand championship with that, right? Um, so great. <laughs> but what I really uh, am happy about is in Kempo we sometimes have difficulty uh, doing well in competition, not because we're not doing well, but because Kempo is a very practical martial art that is not designed to be a fancy, flashy martial art. So often in competition, that puts us a little bit at a disadvantage if somebody else does something more acrobatic, more acrobatic, I'm sorry, or more fancy, right? Uh, we don't do that. We don't usually do theatrics all that much. We do practicality. And that can be much more difficult to win with in a tournament. Right? So whenever we do something that's authentic and we win in a tournament, we're very happy with that, <laughs> all right? So here's my self-defense routine. And uh, what, what I'm really happy about is I wanted to see if it was possible to compete with Ed Parker techniques without changing them. So I started with circling fans and I didn't even do all of circling fans. Right? And I then went into attacking mace and I just added two strikes to attacking mace. It's a palm strike, thrusting heel palm and a front kick. It's not very much to add. Right? And then I did a thrusting lance against a knife. Um, and I didn't even do the whole technique. I did about half of it. Right? And I went from there into snapping twig and I did the entire technique of snapping twig with the extension, but I changed nothing about the technique. Right. And then the rest of it was just a you know typical theatrics and drama that you play out in the self-defense routine to make it look a little bit more like a you know like a real fight or like some kind of Hollywood scene, right? So um, uh, that's all I got for today. I'm going to show you a couple of clips. I hope you enjoy them. And I thank Anton Pointer for putting on this tournament. He was pretty humble. He doesn't even write how many years he's been at it. Uh, since I've lived here in the valley, which has been a long, long time here in California, Anton has put on tournament after tournament every year. He's originally from down south and he used to uh, compete at the internationals just like we did. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I support him. So I hope you're going to like this video and uh, I hope this might inspire you to also put some Kempo out. And it's not really about winning. It's about putting the Kempo out there and showing the world that Kempo is a very good martial art. And I hope that we accomplished that. Alright, thank you very much everybody and have a nice day.